bánh xèo Vietnamese crispy pancake. Let's make bánh xèo today. I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this, you know, rich, creamy, savory pancake. Um, this is one of our very, very popular appetizers at our restaurant as well. Um, I also have cooking classes, demo that show everyone how to make this. And today I'm gonna show you step by step how do we make delicious Vietnamese pancake. Let's get on it. I have uh, one bag of um, this brand. I use them sometimes. Um, it's similar to the brand that we use at the restaurant. But today I'm gonna show you my way to cook delicious and crispy, creamy Vietnamese pancake bun xèo. Included a bag of uh, dry coconut powder cream and also turmeric uh, powder in here you can just go ahead and you know um, put all of them together i will have like about just about teaspoon of salt any kind of salt is, is good table salt i'm using pink salt today turmeric powder for me the one that they actually eat in the bag is not enough i like it more flavorful and richer taste so i'm going to give another teaspoon of powder turmeric powder into my mix in the cooking instruction they actually ask you to fill uh, in here about 800 millimeter of water I'm not gonna do that because <laughs> this is any recipe. Um, I'm gonna replace this by 400 millimeter of coconut cream. It had to be coconut cream because you want that really, really creamy and savory um, flavor in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 400 millimeter of my coconut cream in here. I'm not gonna use water. You actually can add water in here as well right now. Um, then it, your mix is gonna last at least two, three days if you add water now for the rest of her uh, 400 millimil. But I'm gonna use beer. Any kind of beer is good. It doesn't matter. You know, just throw your favorite beer in there. The problem with beer is it have to be used in the next few hours, the mixture. Um, Max is maybe four or five hours. I wouldn't want to, them to last longer than that. Um, but if you use water, like I said, then it will last longer, at least like two, three days in the fridge for the mix, if you couldn't uh, cook all of them, right? What I find about beer is make my pancake more crispy. Um, the taste, you know, when after you cook, you don't really taste the beer anymore because it's already cooked um, but um, it's very light flavor you don't really taste this but it just make my pancake more crispier and I love it I just like that crispy you have to be like crunchy crunchy crispy so I'm go ahead to put um, this one is 230 millimeter I think that's just enough um, you can add another seven a uh, 70 uh, millimeter to have equal amount of 400 millimeter which is perfect right now i just want it to be like uh, a bit more concentrate so i just gonna go ahead and use only 330 millimeter of beer in here egg i'm going to crack one egg in here but usually it Sometimes you find it's uh, not gonna mix all well together, so I recommend to use a small uh, bowl and crack your egg in here. Mix them really nice before you actually put them in there. Last but not least, spring onion. Ta -da! <laughs> it's so fresh. 
um, you can use like basically as much as you like. I would use maybe six to eight stem for this bowl. I think it's just enough to give you flavor and the beautiful color of uh, green onion in your pancake as well. So usually I will cut the roof out. This already washed. You want to slide them a little bit thin, not super, super thin, right? Uh, but not too, too big either. So now we're going to put them in here and mix them well together. I would highly recommend to rest and the mix about 30 minutes at least um, in just room temperature, that's fine. Or you can put in the fridge like an hour or two before you actually uh, go ahead and make your pancake. Um, by doing that, it's allow uh, the mix to rest well and so you know the, the flour in there is already kind of like open up. So when you make the pancake, it's crispy but it's soft crispy it's not hard crispy right so that's what uh, you're looking for and this is all protein basically it based on what protein you like i have over here shrimp uh, squid and of course pork belly so i cut this one in half first and this is how you take the skin off. You start from the bottom, right? Hold the skin, cut a little bit first. Right? Keep holding the skin. Like angle your knife a bit like this, about 45. And then keep holding the skin and keep going. Enough. Okay, so you're gonna slide them out like this. You don't you don't want your meat to be too thick or too thin. This is still thin enough for me. Because what happened when we cook them, we want the meat to be cooked as fast as possible, right? Uh, because right now we're just gonna stir fry them and if the meat it takes so long to cook and then after that I throw uh, my seafood in it's not gonna be balanced out you want all of them to cook even now can you see it it's just like one quarter of my finger I'm gonna put them back into my bowl and I'm gonna cut the squid out I just slide them out um, because squid and shrimp gonna cook really quick. You can make it a bit bigger, about this side, about my finger side. Marinade time. I have um, some garlic right here. Over here, I will get a few uh, salad onion as well. And of course, I also have spinach onion right here, okay. I will clean all the um, skin off. All right, to marinate, um, I have about, this is like one pound of pork belly. It's too much, so I save some. Um, and then I have like three, four hundred gram, almost a pound of uh, shrimp. And then another is like three hundred gram of um, squid. So, I think this is just enough topping uh, for one bag of flour, the mix that we make. Set in here, I'm going to use some black pepper, uh, garlic, and salad, and then also all the stuff as well. So I will start with my black pepper first. Garlic, 
you can actually crush it and chop it out. That's fine. Um, or you can have the you can use the food processor, the small one, uh, just so you can easy for you to chop all of this out. It's fine. To able to marinate this, I'm gonna do it really simple with um, some of the herb we already put in here. Of course, fish sauce. It has to be raw fish sauce. Um, I would say just a teaspoon on each bowl. I just use ice measurement. And MHC. Just half teaspoon on each side. Then I will mix them all well together. I use about one uh, spanded onion. I will slide them out. Um, some say it's hikama, some say jamaka, something like that. <laughs> I call them um, gu sang. It's one of the water roots. Um, at the restaurant, when I make the pancake in the middle, you see that we actually use bean sprout, which is I will show you that as well. Or this one is um, is harder uh, compared to bean sprout, and it's crunchy and it's water based as well. Um, so what you do, you clean them and you slide them out and make them, you know, almost a bit thicker than bean sprout. Like you slide them out that side uh, to put into your pancake if that's what you like. Um, I will make a few with this one as well today. Before I'm go ahead and make pancake, because that would eat pancake will usually take like seven ten minutes. I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. So you know when the pancake is ready, you can have the sauce and you eat them right away. Um, garlic, I have fresh garlic right here, just half of the cloth. Of course, you clean them out, and then we gonna uh, crush them out. So it's based on how spicy you want it. I love spicy, so I'm gonna throw in here three, maybe two. <laughs> Three, okay, three. <laughs> we'll throw in here three of them. You know, you keep bowing them if you actually, you know, in, not in the mood. <laughs> and this is actually one of the, the way to meditate and, and be, um, you know, back to your good mood. <laughs> I will add in here half teaspoon of MHG. Optional, if that's what you prefer, you can skip that. Sugar, I will add three teaspoons of sugar. One, two, three. Fish sauce, I will add this light soup spoon. Two of them. Two spoon of water as well. Mix this well together. Lemon. You can use lamb. Usually we use lamb, but I have lemon. So I'm going to squeeze in. Um, not the entire thing is going to be too sour. Um, just I start with like a one third of it first. You see the seeds, you can remove the seed before you actually squeeze them in. Squeeze them in. Perfect. And I'm gonna pour them out right here and the sauce is ready for us.
actually one of the finger food. Um, I'm gonna show you how we actually eat them. That's different way. I just show you um, one of the way, okay, or tented way, all right. So you can have lettuce. Um, I love mustard. It, it just give more flavor. So I will start with a big giant leaf of mustard, right? In here, of course. So you put your uh, pancake in here, right? Trying to get some of the top in. Little bit of that vegetable in there. And here we go. Whatever herb you like, put them in here. So basically you make it into a roll, right? Then mint. Some onions. Okay. And on this side, I have bean sprouts, so I'm gonna get some bean sprouts on this side. And you roll them together. Okay, you just use your hand, hold them, and roll them together like this. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. See? There we go. And here is our favorite part. To deep with the sauce. Mm. The creamy taste of it is so savory. Um, of course, the, the shrimp is so tender as well. I can taste my pork belly, of course. Um, vegetable and herb combined together. Oh, mustard leaf is actually one of the, the best option, I think, for this recipe. But again, you can use, you know, lettuce leaf as well. And of course, the sauce. I can taste the garlic, <laughs> spicy of, so from the chili as well. A little bit of sour taste from the lemon. Everything combined together with that very lively sauce taste. It's so good. <laughs> oh.